Hi everyone and welcome to this how-to on TCC82, our PileCap design spreadsheet. My name is Emily Halliwell and I'm a structural engineer at the Concrete Centre. In this webinar, I'm going to talk you through how to design pile caps using the spreadsheet. I'm going to start by looking at this worked example, which is a two pile pile cap. On screen, you can see the size of the pile cap, material properties and cover, and the pile capacities and column loads. I'm now going to move to the spreadsheet and start inputting my data. We can start by entering our client details um, and anything about the project, as well as our checker and designer names. Generally, any text in blue or pink um, is information for you to enter. We then input our materials data. Um, for example, here is our concrete strength. And I'm happy with these covers, but my SLS pile capacity is 1500 kilonewtons. Um, we are entering our data here in the double pile cap sheet. However, this spreadsheet can design pile caps with up to six piles and the same pile capacity and uh, material properties will be assumed for each type of pile cap. And I'll show you more on this later. I am also going to select over here my usage type. So for me, that is a dwelling. Um, I'm now going to enter the dimensions of my column and pile. So we've got 600 millimeter diameter piles. And um, we have the option here to input our tolerance. I'm going to use the default value, which is 75. Um, however, you can enter different values and you can see that when we hover over anywhere with a red triangle in the corner, and um, this gives us more information about the data to enter and the assumptions that makes in the spreadsheet. I'll then enter my pile cap geometry. So generally our A value will be half the pile diameter plus 150. And this B dimension will be our um, pile spacing, which is typically three times our pile diameter. Our depth um, is 1400, and this is from the Concrete Center Scheme um, Design Manual to Eurocode 2. I'll then input my column loading. These are characteristic loads, and the spreadsheet will calculate the different combinations for us. As you can see, you can enter dead, imposed, and wind loads, depending on your loading. We can now see that the pile cap reinforcement design has been completed. So in this case, we need seven 20 millimeter diameter bars in the bottom of our pile cap and four 16 diameter bars in the top. We've also got our links down here and our characteristic pile reactions are given in this table here. We can then scroll down to the second sheet. Um, this shows us all the pile, um, all the loading combinations that have been considered and the pile reactions for each of those, and also how the reinforcement design has been carried out. The spreadsheet uses bending theory to design pile caps. Um, however, there are alternative design methods, including strut and tie and truss methods. Where these are used, the re requirement for shear reinforcement may be different to those calculated by the spreadsheet. The calculation sheets can be printed as a hard copy or a PDF, for example, for checking or submitting to building control. We've looked at a double pile cap, but if in our building we also have columns with larger loads, we can select a different number of piles. And here I'll look at a four pile pile cap. So I can select this at the bottom of the spreadsheet. So we've already entered our material properties and pile capacities on the um, double pile cap page. Um, so here we just need the geometry of our column, um, which is the same as the default, and then the geometry of our pile cap. You'll see some of the values in pink um, autofill um, where you've got a regular layout. I am now going to input my loads. And again, these are characteristic loads. Um, 
and I'll again go over here and select my usage type, which is dwelling. So we can see again that the spreadsheet has calculated the reinforcement we need and the pile reactions and that we have a valid design here. We can then repeat this for all the pile cap types we'll need. Um, so you can see three, four, five, six um, at the bottom of the sheet. Um, we can then have a reinforcement schedule created for us in the schedule tab. Here we can enter the number of pile caps of each type um, and then the schedule will update to reflect the number of members of each type. If we go to the drawing tab, um, we can see the spreadsheet also produces a reinforcement drawing for each of the pile cap types. This drawing and the reinforcement schedule can again be printed and used as part of a drawing package or to communicate your design to others. Hopefully this how-to has given you a good overview of using TCC82. If you have any questions about using or purchasing the TCC spreadsheets, please email info at concretecenter.com. Thank you for listening.